All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo's Space Program, where today we are taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of Active Struts by Kalem Iyer Technologies. And this is quite an intriguing mod that uh, is, I think, an important addition, because as every good Kerbal knows, once you've added enough boosters to, uh, you know, get your uh, ship into orbit to your heart's content, you kind of need a way to keep them all together so they don't fly apart into a horrible ball of fire which can of course also sometimes be fun and so of you use struts to make sure that everything is held nice and tight but the problem with the in-game basic struts is they're kind of a rigid system that doesn't have a lot of flexibility and so in comes active struts which if we head into the VAB I can show you what all that adds into the game and to allow you to not just create struts here in the VAB or the space plane hangar, but to actually create and remove struts while in flight. So you aren't just set to what you put into the VAB for your sort of structural integrity for your ship. So if we actually load up a little strut tester that I made uh, just before recording, I can show off the different parts, which all live under structural, of course, because, well, it is struts, and that's kind of an important part of structures. And there are four parts that this mod adds into the game. The first and probably most important is the CIT targeter. And what this does is it is basically the start point for any strut. This creates the strut, and then you attach it to the CIT target. So if we uh, just go down here to one of these uh, targeters, now you'll see we have two buttons here, the link and straight up free attach. Now this one is intriguing. The link, if we click that, we can just go down to one of the targets and you'll see we have connected a strut to that target. Now you can't go the other way. The targeters actually create the struts. The targets receive the struts. That is how that works. And it works quite nicely. Now this uh, straight up feature is kind of an odd one. It works similarly to, I believe, quantum struts, where if you hit this, basically, yeah, anything that it hits along its path, you can see that blue laser line that comes out of it. Anything that is in that line, the strut will attach to. And uh, let's actually see if we can get it to work here. So if we just straight up attach, yep, there we go. It will attach directly to that. So you don't have to do any actual work to it. And it's kind of an intriguing system. Uh, I would definitely uh, say it could be used as a fun emergency strut system. You know, you add these into an action group and if the uh, your ship is getting a whole lot of wobble, just hit that action group and suddenly all these struts pop out to the uh, nearest thing in line to hold it all together. I, I, I like the idea behind it, but if we just uh, oh link that down there properly. Oh my. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh boy, we are. We are doing some things here. Abort link. There we go. Oh, no, nope, abort. Oh, and I've broken that target. <laughs> target, rather. Uh, but yeah, it, let's just link that normally instead of the straight out. We will link it there and remove you because I don't care for you. Now, after the CIT targeter and the CIT target, we then also have the flex anchor. Now, the flex anchors, unlike the target and targeter, can only attach to other flex anchors. So if we uh, select that one and go to that anchor, there we go. You can see that we have attached those two nicely. And these are not like normal struts. Rather than being nice and rigid to hold together your ship, the flex struts are actually, well, elastic. It's a rubber band, essentially. So you could use this to uh, live out your <laughs> insane bungee jumping Kerbal Space Program fantasies. You could potentially do that with these flex joints. They're intriguing, but personally, I don't see myself using them. But hey, someone out there, one of you guys, might find that very cool to do. Now, the last bit that we have, which we'll go over a bit later, is the CIT Auto Strutter. And what this does is it automatically connects to other auto strutters. 
And the use for it is you have auto strutters on two separate crafts that you then dock together and it, the auto strutters will automatically connect themselves to the other auto strutters so that you they basically come together to form one good solid structure held together by lots and lots of struts. That way, so if you're building a large ship in orbit, you don't have to worry about the structural integrity of it because these auto strutters will automatically do that for you. And like I said, we'll go over that a bit later, but let's actually head out to the VAB because like I said, not only do these allow you to sort of customize your strut placement here in the VAB, you can also do it out in the world, which is the part I love the most because, well, I've had a lot of problems in the past of launching a ship only to find out that it was extraordinarily wobbly once we it was actually in flight. And well, normally that meant heading back into the VAB and adding more and more struts until it was good. But with this mod, I can basically lay out a whole lot of CIT targeters and CIT targets along my ship and then as we're launching I can be placing struts on the fly. It doesn't matter. We can just hit link and bam, do that and we are good to go. Ooh, though that one didn't really texture all the way through. And it will of course save these uh, linked structures as it did from the VAB. You saw that we connected these in the VAB and it remembered. And now that we're out here in the world, they stay connected. And so this would allow you an interesting way of uh, making sure that your ship held together as it should while in flight. And as it wobbled more, you just attach more struts. And of course you could do the, uh, the straight up free attach to shoot out struts to any nearby inline object to continuously add more and more structural integrity. And I quite like it. it it's, it's cool. I love the idea of this. And like I said earlier with the auto strutters, uh, you can use it to combine two ships that have docked together. And of course, besides the auto strutter, once they are attached, you can just start linking up the other various struts as well with no problem to continuously add in different uh, bits of structural integrity to make your ship stronger. Now, a few things you'll notice on here. We have some different uh, bits and bobs here. Now the state, of course, it'll tell you that it's linked, as it should because it's, well, linked. This one, of course, is unlinked. And then below that we have the strength, which currently is none, but if we attach this one over to here, that strength becomes normal. And there are three different strut strengths, weak, normal, and maximum, and they're based off of the parts you use. And of course, uh, well, we are linked. And then there's enforced, which is currently false. And I, I gotta be honest, I'm still not entirely sure what exactly this entails. Uh, uh, I believe that it, when it's false, the struts act uh, differently. Essentially, they work as expected, break when there's too much force applied, etc. And enforced, I, I believe, makes them stronger and more stable. I'm not 100% on this. I, I, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. The explanation on the mod page is not exactly clear on this, but from what I read, that seems to be the case. I just leave it at default though, and it seems to work just fine for me. Now, we're going to head back to the VAB because there's one more thing that I want to show you with struts. Now, as I mentioned, it adds these four parts and we'll again take a look at these in a minute, but it's not just parts. If we actually just load up, say, a command pod and go straight out to launch, you can also attach struts to your Kerbals, which intrigues the crap, crap out of me. So if we have Jebediah go on EVA and uh, let go, there we are, and walk just a little bit away from the ship and just to, uh, give, a, give them a little click, and you'll see that we have this throw tether hook. And this is basically like the other strut systems, except it's gonna be a strut coming out from Jebediah. And what you can do is then you see we get the normal painter thing like we had with the struts and you can attach it to a ship. So there we go. We will attach. Oh, there we are. We are now attached to the command pod and we are actually anchored to it. And oh boy, there we go. See, oh, excellent. There we are. It is an elastic -y 
sort of one, and it acts weird, oh boy, here on the surface, because it's, uh, you know, physics just are going wild. It works much, much better in space. But oh boy, oh dear lord, look at him, look at him fly around. And what you can do with it is you can increase the tether length so he can go further without any issues, or pull him closer to sort of pull him back, or of course release the hook. But I, I think it's kind of cool, it's, it's quite useful if you're on an EVA out in space from a space station. Or uh, one of the suggested uses on the mod page is to actually attach your Kerbal to a dead rover and you can drag it. Now of course, physics being on the surface, this is a little crazy, but uh, in space, trust me, it works much nicer. Let's just release the hook, there we go. Poor Jebediah, man, he is just getting it all spun around. But it's quite cool and quite simple, you just hit the throw tether hook, click it to a nearby object, and there we are. We are now attached. Lovely, good times. Let's head back out to the space center and go over those auto structures real quick. And to do that, I have set up these guys over here, these two dock testers. So yes, if we go to fly that one, we should be good to test these out. Now on these little crappy rovers, I have little docking ports and auto strutters on along the top. And what I have here is this one set to group one, the other set to group zero, and that will attach these two to each other. And basically you, it seems to uh, work by incrementing them up, and they'll also attach to whichever one is closer. So if I had this one as one and another auto strutter back here as a one, that auto strutter would only connect to this one because it was closer, even though they both have the same priority number. But if we turn off the brakes and just sort of ease ourselves forward and oops, slow it down and oh, come on, Doc. Oh, God, we're a little bit, little bit misaligned. Hold on. Here we go. This should do it. This should do it. There we go. And you can see we now have a strut in between these two. Oh boy, which you can see it's holding them together quite nicely, even though the docking ports are not holding them together nicely at all. And uh, we can always detach that strut by uh, increasing this group. So now that's a one and that's a one. But if we put this one back to zero, it, like I said, it kind of increments upwards. So the zero will attach to one, the one would attach to a two, etc., etc. But we have now a lovely strut that is automatically connected together, and it will automatically disconnect once we undock. You can see there it then just turned right on off. And as I said earlier, this could be used to sort of preset a whole lot of struts or auto strutters onto a ship that you're going to dock in orbit so that once you do dock, suddenly you've got all the struts you need to make sure that that is nice and strong and uh, that those ships won't break apart. It is quite useful, quite lovely. I, I really enjoy it. And of course, I've thrown on some other little uh, struts onto here too. Bam, there we go. Adding all sorts of glorious structural integrity onto this crappy little rover. <laughs> even though it's horribly built. Oh my god, it's just... Oh yes, the brakes are on on that one, so maybe if we... Ah, there we go! The, oh my, look at those struts vibrate. Oh, so the texturing might not be quite on par with what it should be, but I assure you the structural integrity is nice and good. So these should hold together quite well. Uh, but yeah, that is the Active Struts mod, once again by Kalem Iron Technologies. And it is, it's wonderful. It allows you to, uh, on the fly, create and remove struts either in flight or in the editor, provided, of course, you have targets, targeters, auto strutters, flex anchors, etc. And even allows you to tether your kerbals to vessels with a nice elastic strut band to uh, make sure they don't fly away. Though, we'll be with wonky physics here on a planet. But uh, yeah, if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you just follow the link in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, definitely go try it. It is fun. I am enjoying it. And it's, it's just so useful. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you also have enjoyed this video and come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now let's off and away. Oh, those batteries. They didn't last well. Hmm. 
These struts survived. Those auto strutters didn't, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that'll happen when things explode. Well, later, guys. <laughs>